Greetings, greetings. This is Coach Phil, St. Charles Catholic Chargers, offensive line install. This year's motto is simple. We have to be first, we have to be fast, and most importantly, we have to be physical. Physical at the point of attack, and we must finish. Okay, here's our base formation, simple old school I formation football. I like to keep the Y off the line as opposed to a lot of coaches who keep their Y slash tight end on the line. We have the simple X, Z, they never change. They stay on the same side of the football field. Six inch splits across the front line. Pretty simple. I'm a big component of the West Coast offense, so you're going to see a lot of zone blocking from us this year. But we're also going to add in a lot of pin and pull work. So it's going to be a lot of double down blocking. We're going to have a different variety of just your normal, hey, you go block that guy, you run block, you pass block. I really want to have the offensive line feel involved in the offense. I want them to feel a part of the offense. I want them to have a job description within the offense, if that makes sense to an essence. I feel with us doing that, giving the office of line specific jobs, specific tasks, that will enable them to feel more motivated throughout the whole season of being invested in blocking, you know what I'm saying? But that's the base package right there. I got a lot of other switches where I can go into Zebra or we can run blue like Hal Mummy and then we'll do. We got a lot of options, man. We have a ton of options in this basic I formation Y hide. Now, I know I said we're going to more than likely always be in our six-inch splits, but let's say, for instance, uh, short yardage or we're just getting blown inside in the A-gaps and we are that three techniques just abusing us. We can also go soul to soul and go tight for, you know, QB sneaks, goal line. So that's another, another set we can put them in because we're going to load them up, man. We got to be physical. Okay, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. Simple zone blocking schemes, old school Alex Gibbs, old school Mike Shanahan and the Broncos. We got Zulu, in which we zone to the left, Zorro, in which we zone to the right. Now, what we have to do is make sure that those guys are getting that six-inch power step, depending on what side they're going to. So if we're zoning to the left, we have to make sure they get that six inch power step and then they drive. We want to make sure that inside hand is on that defender's outside number. So if I'm that left guard and I got that three technique or whatever he shaded inside of me or on top of me, when I make my six inch left step, I got to be simultaneously getting my right hand, my left hand outside and my right hand on his outside numbers. And then I'm driving, drive, 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 drive. Same thing for when we go into the right. If I'm the right guard, I'm making that six-inch power step right. I'm gaining ground. I'm striking him with my inside hand on his outside numbers, and I'm driving, 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 and we have to finish him. So it's very important, man, that we stress to them about gain, gaining ground with that six-inch vertical power step, driving, 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 and finishing the block. We should never look on the film and see helmets not forward from the line of scrimmage. We want to really press that edge. That's the thing about our zone blocking scheme. We want to press it, not seal the edge. Okay, now we get into our pin and pull series. Simple calls alley. We're going to pin and pull to the left. Arrow, we pin and pull to the right. Now, when we pin and pull, that's when we want to seal. That's when that Y really has to seal that defensive end. For example, if we're making an alley call, that Y, he has to seal that defensive end in order for that uh, left tackle to be able to make his long or pull and work and clear up into the alley, which in turn, we're going to need that left guard to make a nice skip pull to fill in for that left tackle. That center, he down blocks and fills in for that left guard. Now, that right side guard on the back side, remember, we're running alley. He's going to have to long more pull, open up, and clean up any trash that might slip through within the left side. Okay, so we'll use that for, let's say, counters, toss, 
I mean, we can use that for a plethora of things, man. Again I, again, I like to get the offensive line moving this year. I don't want them just standing there, run blocking this way, or just a simple, okay, we 38 power, let's send the tackle this way. You know, I want guards pulling. I want tackles to be able to pull. I really want to be able to cause confusion with the offensive line. So that, that's the main thesis of what we have going on here. Same thing if it's Arrow, that Y has to seal that right edge. He has to be physical. So we're going to really demand a lot from the Y because he's that's got to be our playmaker. That's got to be our big physical George Kittle, you know, that guy who's going to go up there and get it in the red zone, who's going to be physical at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. He's going to be able to run those flat-out routes, run those option routes, run those high-wide routes. Uh just, just he's got to be able to do a plethora of things, man. Shuffle passes inside, et cetera, et cetera, bro. So yeah, that's that's the pin and pull series, pretty much. Just alley and arrow. If it's alley, pin and pull left. Arrow, we pin and pull to the right. What's next? Let's see. We have ah uh, yes. As the blocking schemes continue, we have the Dolly Parton. That's just when we double down on who's ever head up in front of the guards. Both tackles will double down, and we're going to drive that inside. We're going to use that for dives, isos, quarterback sneaks, uh, pretty much whatever, man. We can even do a little option work with that. As long as that wide, we can put him in motion, let him lead. Lakers, we're just half slide protect. Slide left, rockets, we slide right. We can throw a LeBron and a Harden call in there to mix it up, but it's pretty simple. Okay, here we have the mirror protection. That's just simple, old school Mike Leach, big on big pass protection. We want to make sure that offensive lineman is taking his numbers and keeping his numbers on top of that defensive line numbers. Get your numbers in front of his numbers. We want to block him with our feet and not with our hands. Footwork, footwork, footwork is going to be a big component of our offensive line, bro. We're going to be first, we're going to be fast, and you best believe we're going to be physical. But that's it in the gist, bro. It's going to be pretty much simple. Like a lot of 28 toss, 26 counter, 11 dive, options off the dive. And I think we'll be successful, bro. So tell me what you think.